The number one question we get asked all the time is how do I make more money from my blogs? Well, over the past 15 years, we have developed countless plugins and methods. These have all been tested and proven to work on thousands of blogs, generating thousands of dollars for our happy customers. And now, for the first time ever, we've perfected the four best methods and plugins and combined them into one easy to use plugin. Because both internet marketing and blogging should ultimately be about making a profit. We're gonna set you up with four brand new and hands-free income streams. Introducing the Ultimate Ads plugin. Now let me show you exactly what's inside and what you'll get instant access to today. Okay, so here we are in my WordPress dashboard on the WP Toolkit Ultimate Ads plugin on the Theme Ads page. Now please bear in mind, this is gonna be a very, very quick walkthrough of the different aspects of this Ultimate Ads plugin. So it's gonna be quite brief, just to keep it tight and short. Okay, so Theme Ads basically allows you to mix adverts in with your posts on your homepage so that when someone is viewing uh, all your different posts on your homepage they will actually have ads mixed in there with the posts as well and if they're designed right they fit right in and look in context for the other ads so they become very easy for those people to click on and go to the offer that you're promoting. Okay so the settings are fairly simple and pretty much self-explanatory so first of all we have the number of ads that we want to show up let's say three then uh, that fills out down here, we've got ad widget one, two, and three. If you chose more, let's say we chose five, we'd have, to have five ad widgets. But let's just go with three, because I've got three already set up. And then the number of ads you want to show per page, let's just say two. And then the number of posts you want to appear before an ad. Basically, you don't want the first post actually being an advert, okay? Then you decide whether the ads are gonna appear in order or in a random order. In order would be in the order you set them up here in ad widget one, two, and three. Then you need the ad width and height. You need to tweak those to get it set up uh, the same as your posts appear on your homepage. Then you have the actual ads themselves. So very simple, either HTML or just pure text, whatever you need to put in. Uh, have images if you want. Anything you want basically can go in here. So very, very flexible. Just pop it in, including HTML if you need to. And once you've got the ad set up, you do need to set the post class to post. And you can also play with the advanced custom styling if you want to, but I'm not going with that. Let's just click on save ads. Once that's updated, let's come across to my test site itself. And at the moment you can see my posts are all appearing without any ads in them. Now that I've got the theme ads widget working, if I just hit refresh on this page, we'll actually have an ad or two pop up. So here we go. First of all, Bitcoin Profit Secrets, that's an ad. Uh, it's in a fairly ad style format. Um, if I scroll down, we've also got a text ad down there. Now if I hit refresh again, it'll randomize it. They'll appear in different places. And this time we've got another one which is for cryptocurrency. That is a more similar format to these with a picture at the top and a bit of text. I probably want to put some more text in there to make it blend in more with the other posts. But you can see how flexible this is and how powerful it is. Once you format them to fit in with the other posts that you've got on your homepage, people are going to find this very, very easy to click on and go through to your offers. Okay, next we're looking at the add bar option. And this is a bar that's gonna pop up on the page a few seconds after the visitor lands on whatever page we've got it set up to display on. Okay, I'm gonna quickly set this to active and scroll down so that you can see the settings. Uh, first of all, this is a standard HTML editing box, so you can put in whatever you want for this bar. Um, typically, keep it to one line, but if you need more, you can and you've got all the editing options available as standard. Now, if I scroll on down, you'll see that the rest of the settings are actually fairly simple and self-explanatory again. So first up, we have the background color for the bar itself. Then you have the number of seconds delay before the bar will pop up when a visitor lands on your site. Then you have the option for a close button on the bar so the visitor can actually close it down. Then you have the option for how soon it'll be re-displayed to the same visitor. Um, then you have a whole bunch of options as to where the bar 
is actually displayed. I've got it set up for everywhere, um, but you can have it on particular categories, particular pages, particular posts. You can really drill down and decide where the bar is actually gonna appear on your content. Okay, so let's scroll on down and save the settings on this, and then we'll come across to our website, and I'll simply go to the top and click on reload this page. So once the page refreshes, It'll wait a second or two, and there is our attention-grabbing bar to make sure that people are going straight to that bit at the top, clicking on the link, and going through again to an offer that we're promoting. Okay, so that's the attention bar in action. Let's go back and have a look at the pop-up messenger. So this is another real attention grabber. Uh, we've got three different formats of messenger templates set up, the most popular, Facebook, Skype, and WhatsApp. Uh, and if I choose the different options at the moment, you'll see it's the Facebook version. If I change to Skype, you can see it's a different format and the same for WhatsApp. And you can have different sizes as well. Um, and if you do play with those, then you will need to come down here and change the format, uh, play around with the size, the text, etc. And basically, again, we have a full HTML editor, so you can change what the message is, you can change who the message is from, you can change the details, the links, the profile photo, whatever you need to, set it up exactly how you want it to appear, and this messenger box will pop up on your site and grab your visitors' attention and hopefully get them to click on the link. And remember, we've all grown used to reacting in a certain way to those messenger pop-ups because we expect it to be a live person. So we're gonna pay attention, read it, and normally take action on it. Now again, the settings here, fairly standard stuff. Again, the number of seconds before it pops up, how often it's displayed to each individual user or visitor, and again, where it's displayed. You can display these pop-ups just on everywhere. So the home page and all the posts and all the categories, or you can specify individual posts, individual categories, etc. Once you're happy, click on Save Settings, and again, we'll go over to our live site, and I'll just come up to the top of the page and hit the button to reload this page. So we're loading it back up fresh. We'll wait a couple of seconds, and up pops our little messenger down in the right-hand side. And nowadays, we're all pre-programmed, myself included, to instantly read this and react to it because we expect it to be from a real person. So it grabs the attention of the visitor, they can click on the link, and again, they're straight through to one of your offers, hopefully gonna buy again for another commission from your blog. Okay, so let's head back into our WordPress dashboard and look at our fourth option, which is the pop under. Okay, let's quickly scroll down and you can see the settings again. Very standard, very self-explanatory. So we've got whether the pop-up is active or not. We've got the URL or page that the pop-up is gonna have in it. We've got the number of seconds delay before the pop-up appears and the number of hours before it reshows to existing visitors who've been on the site. And you've then got the option for where it's gonna appear, whether it's gonna pop up on every page on your site or you're going to limit it to certain posts, certain pages, certain categories, etc. And then you've got the option to save the settings. So very, very quick and easy to set up and very powerful. In fact, I'm gonna give you a warning on this one. It is an old school, in your face, heavy duty pop-up. Um, it's gonna pop up with the URL that you pop in right in a new browser window. So this is really in uh, your visitor's face and it's best used for a list building opportunity. You want it to be an offer that is highly congruent, highly relevant to the uh, page or the post that the people are on or the, your blog itself to make sure you're offering them something that is gonna get their attention and gonna get them to opt in so you can build your list. Or if you have a strong offer that is highly relevant to your blog, to your niche, this again is the ideal opportunity to put it in front of your visitors. Just be aware, it will uh, put some people off because it is a pop-up. So let's go across to the site. And again, if I go to the top of my browser and click on the reload this page, it will refresh the page for me. And in a few seconds, there we go. That's our pop-up window or pop-under window appearing with our offer. 
or squeeze page or indeed whatever it is that you want your visitor to see, to make sure they see. Now I've brought up a full page. It could be that you have just uh, an advert set up as this uh, separate page and a much smaller format. It's entirely up to you. So as you can see, it is a very, very powerful way of making sure your visitors see the offer that you want to put in front of them. But as I said, use with care. Some people won't like it. Um, make sure it is relevant and congruent to the content that they're viewing beforehand. Okay, so that's a very quick run through of the different areas of the Ultimate Ads plugin. You can see they're very quick and easy to set up, but very, very powerful. And they're going to help you achieve your income goals from your blog by monetizing all sorts of different areas of your content and your blog to make sure you're getting those commissions. Now that you've seen everything inside, you're probably wondering what this amazing plugin will cost you. And it's much less than you'd think. Today, and from this page only, you can access this profit pulling plugin with all four income modules for a special low early bird price, which you can see on the page just below. The profit potential is through the roof. With such a low investment, you can't fail to make your money back fast. However, to put your mind at ease so you can focus on putting this to good use and making lots of money with it, we want to make your decision as easy as possible. And that's why you can try out the plugin with all four modules for 30 days. And if for any reason at all you're not happy with your purchase, we will personally send you a refund with a smile. No questions asked. We don't even mind if you use it to make thousands of dollars. You can keep what you earn from using the plugin now and forever. That's how confident we are that you're going to love this plugin and it's going to make you a ton of money fast. Take your income dreams one step further and add our Ultimate Ads plugin to your order today. All you need to do is click on the button you see below and we will include the plugin with all four modules with your order today and do it for a fraction of the regular retail price. Nothing is held back from you. You'll get instant access to everything for the discounted launch offer only price that you see below. Claim it right now, or if you want more information, feel free to read the short article below, and we'll see you on the next page.